Introducing Orca, Microsoft's new AI model with a massive 13 billion parameters. It has the capability to imitate and learn from large language models like GPT-4. Microsoft's latest research paper introduces Orca. And in this video, we'll delve into why this development is considered as one of the biggest breakthroughs in recent times. While many acknowledge its game-changing potential, let's uncover the true reasons why Orca stands out as an incredible innovation. Stick around until the end of this video because I'm going to present some fascinating insights and we will explore the specific differences between these large language models and discuss their limitations too. So the paper is titled Orca, Progressive Learning from Complex Explanation, Traces of GPT-4, Its Abstract Says. Recent research has focused on enhancing the capability of smaller models through imitation learning, drawing on the outputs generated by large foundation models. A number of issues impact the quality of these models, ranging from limited imitation signals from shallow LFM outputs, small-scale homogeneous training data, and most notably, a lack of rigorous evaluation, resulting in overestimating the small model's capability as they tend to learn to imitate the style, but not the reasoning process of LFMs. To address these challenges, we develop Orca, a 13 billion parameter model that learns to imitate the reasoning process of LFMs. Orca learns from rich signals from GPT-4 including explanation traces, step-by-step, -step, thought processes and other complex instructions guided by teacher assistance from chat GPT. Orca surpasses conventional state-of-the-art instructions turn models such as Vicuna 13B by more than 100% in complex zero-shot reasoning benchmarks like Big Bench Hard and 42% on AGVAL. So now, the core issue here lies in the fact that while large language models perform impressively, developers often overestimate the capabilities of smaller language models. These smaller models can imitate the style of larger ones but struggle to grasp their intricate reasoning process. With Orca, it addresses this problem head-on. This breakthrough is bound to have a profound impact on how future developers train both large language models and smaller models for other devices. So how great is Orca? Well, it surpasses models like Vicuna's 13 billion parameter large language model. If you're unfamiliar with Vicuna, it's an open source chatbot that was trained by fine-tuning Llama on user shared conversations collected from shared GPT. What makes this truly mind-blowing is that Vicuna was primarily trained to function as an LLM chatbot and was fine-tuned by the version Meta created. Orca's capabilities outshine Vicuna's further, solidifying its significance in the AI landscape. In the introduction of the research paper, Orca, with its impressive 13 billion parameters, proves its superiority by outperforming a variety of foundation models, including OpenAI's ChatGPT, as assessed by GPT-4 in the Vicuna evaluation set. The results are consistently positive across various evaluation sets from different studies. Through experiments and fine-tuning with Orca, the gap between OpenAI Foundation models like Tax DaVinci 003 is significantly reduced sometimes, even outperforming ChatGPT by up to 5 points in professional and academic exams such as GRE, GMAT, LSAT, and SAT, and SAT from the AGVAL benchmark. Remarkably, these results are achieved in a zero-shot setting meaning without any exemplar or context of the tasks. Topical performance are shown demonstrating Orca's exceptional capabilities. What's particularly intriguing is that, in the realm of professionals and academic exams like the SAT or LSAT, Orca demonstrate a similarity to Tax Da Vinci 003, which was an earlier version of ChatGPT without the fine-tuning that makes ChatGPT what it is today. This indicates that Orca is much more efficient and effective than previous open-source models. Furthermore, when comparing Orca to Vicuna, it's astonishing to see 40% increase in effectiveness while utilizing the same number of parameters. The significance of this accomplishment becomes even clearer when we consider the parameters count for both of these large language models. The improvements Orca brings to the table are truly remarkable and push the boundaries of what AI models can achieve. Indeed, there's a substantial difference between Orca and ChatGPT. The cool part is that despite its smaller size, Orca remains just as effective. 
making it a lightweight and easily integrated options for various devices. Many creators of large language models are focusing on their aspects of scalability and device integration. Speaking of exciting developments, Google's recent announcements at their I.O. speech was truly remarkable. They shared their plan to offer large language models even when offline. This means users can access powerful language models like ChatGPT without relying on numerous servers situated on data farms. Google is making this possible by providing Palm 2 in four different sizes, Gecko, Odor, Bison, and Unicorn, catering to various needs and usage scenarios. This move marks a significant step forward in making advanced language models accessible and versatile for users everywhere. The advancements in training frameworks for large language models mean that even the smaller ones integrated into future devices like phones and laptops can become significantly more effective, around 7 to 8 times more powerful. This is crucial because large language models have phase limitations due to their sheer size. For instance, GPT-4 boasts a staggering 1 trillion parameters. With models like Orca, exciting possibilities have emerged. People are already running the 13 billion parameter LLM model of their laptops offline. And if Orca becomes available offline as well, it opens up fascinating opportunities. Imagine these small yet potent language models integrated into humanoid robots like the ones being developed by OpenAI in collaboration with 1x Robotics. Instead of relying on cloud-based servers for processing and generating responses, these robots could do instantly with their onboard language models. This turning point would revolutionize the landscape, making large language models more accessible and practically standard. That would be incredible having chat GPT on your phone without needing an internet connection. Google has taken a hands-on approach by meticulously crafting 16 system messages tailored to evoke various responses from the LFM. The strategic approach enables them to train Orca to produce both long and short answers, follow specific guidelines, instructions, and formats, generate creative content, address information-seeking queries, and most importantly, provide explanations and step-by-step -step reasoning for the responses as required. These system messages are 1. Empty system message 2. You are an AI assistant. Provide a detailed answer so users don't need to search outside to understand the answer. Number 3. You are an AI assistant. You will be given a task. You must generate a detailed and long answer, and so on. Utilizing system messages like the ones you mentioned when trying to comprehend complex concepts is genuinely effective. By providing specific instructions to the AI assistant, such as you're an AI assistant, provide a detailed answer or think like you're answering to a 5-year-old, you can receive in-depth and easily understandable explanation directly from the AI. It's important to recognize that while large language models like Orca and others are remarkable in their capabilities, they do have their limitations. These models can be awe-inspiring with their language generation and comprehension skills, leading us to wonder how much feats are even possible. However, it's equally important to acknowledge their constraints. One critical concern is data biases, where biases from the source data may inadvertently be carried over to the model, leading to bias or unfair outputs. Additionally, while these models demonstrate impressive language understanding and generation capabilities, they lack true contextual understanding, resulting in potential inaccuracies and nonsensical responses. Their complexity and size also make them act as black boxes, making it difficult to comprehend the rationality between specific outputs or decisions. Furthermore, Large language models can cause various types of content harm, and users should exercise caution and utilize content moderation services to prevent harmful outputs. It's crucial not to entirely rely on these models for critical decisions, as they may hallucinate or fabricate content particularly in ungrounded generation scenarios without suitable safeguards. There is a risk of malicious misuse where the models could be used for generating disinformation or harmful content. Orca's performance is influenced by the data used for explanation tuning, and while it excels in zero short settings with standard prompts, its performance in other contexts like multi turn conversations, in context learning, or few shot learning remains untested. 
the accuracy of ORCA might also be limited in areas underrepresented in training datasets such as math, coding, and reasoning. Moreover, ORCA is trained with diverse system instructions, introducing stochasticity, which leads to non-deterministic responses to different system messages. As ORCA is trained to imitate GPT-4, it inherits both the advantage and shortcomings of its teacher model, while it benefits from safety measures incorporated during GPT-4 training and safety quadrails. Detailed studies are required for better quantification of potential risks. Awareness of these imitations is essential for responsible and informed use of large language models like ORCA. However, ORCA has shown better performance than others as shown in the research paper. ORCA performs better at entailment, formal fallacies, and semantic understanding. Disambiguation QA and Sharks In the formal fallacy task, a model has to determine whether a given argument can be logically deduced from a set of statements. ORCA achieves 4.5% improvement over ChatGPT on this task. ORCA shows substantially better reasoning capabilities in terms of temporal reasoning, spatial reasoning, and color-based reasoning compared to ChatGPT. ORCA shows good performance on causal judgment task, which measures the capability of the model to answer a causal question about short story. ORCA performs on par with GPT-4 while exceeding ChatGPT by 4.7%. There are other differences among ORCA, ChatGPT, and Vicuna that were mentioned in the paper. You can check the paper through this link. And that's it for today. Please help me reach out to more AI enthusiasts by clicking the subscribe button. If you want to be the first to know the latest about AI, don't forget to click the bell button. See you in my next video.